to the nth degree where we talk about the latest trends, technologies, and innovations happening in the health, wellness, and media spaces today. I'm Amanda Prito, Vice President of Marketing, and I'm here today with Jose Ferreira, Senior Vice President of Product and Innovation. Today's topic on the nth degree is all about the territorial brand manager. So Jose, in these times that we are still navigating as a result of COVID-19, can you talk a little bit about the technologies and the the innovation leaning on around non-personal promotion and the evolution of what is the territorial brand manager. The pharma sales rep role within the marketing mix is evolving over time, right? Enter COVID, for example, most physician offices are shut down to sales reps, there's no access. This kind of exacerbated a problem that, that we've been seeing trending. The sales rep is starting to play a slightly different role where they behave more like a territorial brand manager, which to me means operating as a marketer, sales rep, hybrid within a given geographic territory. They have unique insights into the needs of the customers that they serve. They have understanding of what that practice makeup is. Who are the people? What are the barriers that exist? And then what are the tools in their arsenal in order to target those customers within a specific way? Traditionally, that has been through face-to-face -face discussions. Now, they're tasking sales reps to be more omni-channel, opening up different media channels to the sales rep so that they can transact with individual customers through some sort of platform. We've developed a platform to, to serve that specific need. It's called Product Rep. We're seeing this digital-first capability start to arise, and the nature of the sales rep conform to this new normal where it's almost digital first and face-to-face -face second based off of the dynamics of the marketplace. And we're seeing something similar happen in other tools that sales reps are using to communicate with their healthcare professional customers. The adoption and growth of digital tools and also the ability to scale in media that is targeted to those customers has been a novel achievement that has occurred over the course of the last few years. And now the applicability of that to the rep's daily work is now at a place where they can execute media that is beyond the kinds of things that they had within their market basket before. Before it was lim largely limited to face-to-face -face meetings, they could send an email, but their involvement in all other facet targeting of customers with messaging basically didn't exist. We've sped up our development to meet this need, uh, even though it was something that was a concept that we were thinking about before COVID, but once we knew that to give sales reps the tools necessary for them to be successful within this new paradigm. Amanda, one important conversation that's kind of somewhat related to what we've been talking about with the territorial brand manager is DE and I. How do you th think the two things kind of relate to each other in kind of your world? Diversity, equity, inclusion. We are on the brink now of being able to create and deliver very customer centric, very inclusive media. So we are leveraging innovation and technology and data that's allowing us to deliver messaging that is diverse beyond racial diversity, right? So understanding and knowing the whole person and being able to meet that person on their health journey with the messaging that they need. There are different groups and various touch points and with data and technology like our ProAct rep technology, we're able to support the sales reps in making better media mix decisions and giving them a wealth of insights. So traditional data can tell us a lot about the patients and the, the HCPs, but it's really the rep who's there in person who has an understanding of the doctor's office and the doctor's patients. You can't replace that human touch. We're able to fill the gaps with our data and our technology to develop fully inclusive customer-centric media. There are data sets that we can buy that tell us what the racial and demographic makeup of is of a geography, but until you're involved in that community, you can understand it much better than I can through publicly available data set. I grew up in a heavily Portuguese community, for example. My, I'm first generation American, my parents were born in Portugal. The town that we grew up in was basically one quarter Portuguese. So that's something that you would not glean from like some kind of standard data set. And everybody within the community basically went to one doctor because that doctor's staff all spoke Portuguese. That's like a very unique niche case that somebody empowered at the territorial level could tap into and understand what are the unique needs of that community and how they can message appropriately to the healthcare professional and also potentially influence 
the consumer media plan, this concept of a territorial brand manager in cases like that. And it doesn't have to be just, uh, just the kind of, kind of ethnic scenarios. It could be that there is a large LGBT community or a larger black or Latinx community. And even within Latin, Latinx, they all speak Spanish, but they are, have different cultural norms. And only on the ground knowledge is really gonna give you the insights that you need to turn that into something meaningful within the marketing space. So that's a great example, Jose. And in these cases that we're referencing, do you see the tech as a tool or a solution? I think technology is always a tool. It's never a panacea. What you're seeing evolve within larger marketplace is never going to solve all of your problems. What you need to do is understand how technology can serve the interests of your specific business and then apply those things accordingly and evolve from there. You can onboard all kinds of tools and then how you apply those tools is how anybody differentiates their business from their competitors. In what we're talking about with a territorial sales rep, we've developed what we think is the best in class tool for reps to operationalize this concept on a kind of real world basis and at scale. But that doesn't mean that's the only solution that's going to figure into, and clients, suppliers need to be thinking about what are the tools that they need to be leveraging to support this in being a part of a larger whole. Well, thanks for joining us today on The Nth Degree while we talked about the Territorial Brand Manager. Remember to like and subscribe.